Hey there. You expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? P partner What do we have here? Looks like a bambina got loose in the ranch is enough to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. Mr. Marshall! Marshall? Looks more like a sheriff to me. Looky here, Bambina. I know how you feel. But this is my gang's gold strike, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory, and the gold mine is evidence. If you're fixing to mess with it's ours, you'll regret it, partner. You know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream? You want to? What's this guy talking about? You head along home now. Happy trails, Bambina. Was that a hombre, a friend of yours? Uh, kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff in the Wild West, it seems. Well, folks, the clues are a calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settler. Strike out the lands unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hootenanny. That smell. Ah, reminds me of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on the television the other day. Miss Starr told us something. She said you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now, like a drinking hole on a prairie fire. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Starr, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. He was... my brother. He was investigating the murders with Damon Gant, chief detective at the time. The group of detectives I was a part of worked under them. We were desperate to prosecute the killer. Joe Dark. My brother fought Dark and was killed. That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. He was arraigned and incarcerated. The case was finally closed. At least according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. And that's it? That's your reason for your insane actions? There's more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. I'll ask you again, Chief Prosecutor. During the trial two years ago, did you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look at me, an investigator in the crime in the eye, and say that you did? Chief Prosecutor, you didn't! I don't have to, Officer Marshall. Why don't you answer him? Drastic crimes require drastic measures. We did what we had to, in order for him to get the verdict he deserved. But Lana! Even if it involved forging evidence. See? That's what I'm talking about. No. No! That case left behind scars on all of us. The scars that the SL9 incident left behind. I got the looks, but he got the brains. He was one of the best prosecutors around. I had just made detective when it went down. It was our first case together. How old was he? Your brother. He was 27 at the time. He was awarded the highest honor that very day. The highest honor? You don't mean the king of prosecutors. Not that again. What are you looking at me like that for? That's an honor for a prosecutor. Mr. Marshall must have been really close with his brother. The day the SL9 incident took place, that wasn't the same day as... That's right. It was the day of the evidence transferal. It was drizzling that morning. By nightfall, there was thunder. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. A bad feeling? The truth is that after I received those orders from Chief Gant, the first thing that I did was make a phone call. A phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall. To Marshall? Why on earth would you call him? The lead investigator of the SL9 incident had been murdered. He was the only other person I could trust. Or at least I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seems after I spoke with him, he went off in an escapade of his own. Oh, you mean? Not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. Demon Gant! The killer is you! Mm. Mm. <laughs> I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good for nothing scum. For two years, he's been snooping around the department, trying to get something. Crimes are being committed every day, and yet he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. 
He recruited Angel Star, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yes, that's right. If the evidence gets transferred, I'll miss my only chance to find the truth. Please, you gotta help me! Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room. Then all of a sudden he decided to speak out. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you please open the investigation, sir? We can't transfer the evidence out. There's too many questions left unanswered. He told me to open up the evidence room and take it out. It's not too late. I'll hand this to Marshall. Well, to be honest, I was a little panicked, too. I had a bad feeling about it, and I never knew it would come to this. That's when I saw it, that a cursed night.